वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू अनादर लेसन इन दिस लेसन विल चेक वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द डायमेंशन एंड दोज एप्लीकेशन अमंग दोज एप्लीकेशन वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन इज टू चेक वेदर द इक्वेशन आर डायमेंशनली करेक्ट और नॉट ओके सो इन फिजिक्स वी विल बी डीलिंग विद वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इक्वेशन नाउ वेदर द इक्वेशन वी हैव रिटर्न इज करेक्ट और नॉट can be verified using the method of dimensions so today we'll check one of such equation this is your equation of motion okay this equation of motion we will derive in our upcoming classes for now let's just see whether the equation which i've written here it's correct or not okay now in this equation this s denotes your displacement u denotes your speed t denotes your time half is a constant a denotes your acceleration and t is your time now we have to make sure that this equation is correct that means there is a dimensional consistency throughout the equation so to verify whether this equation is correct or not first what you have to do is we will categorize this equation into left hand side and right hand side based on this equals to sign okay so all those terms all the physical quantity which are on the left side of this equation will be your left hand side expressions term and all those terms like this one which are on the right side of this equal to sign will be the right hand side terms now to verify whether they are dimensionally accurate or not we have to check whether the dimension of the left hand side term is equal to the right hand side term or not to do this what you do you write down first the dimension of the left hand side terms now in this case you have only one term on the left hand side therefore we have to check the dimension of only this quantity physical quantity s now s is your displacement displacement means your length so what will be the dimensional formula for length the dimensional formula will be l fine now we are done with the left hand side part now let's move to the right hand side part so next is your dimension of the right hand side part okay so the first term is your ut where this u represents the velocity and t represents your time so what is the dimension for velocity it is l t to the power minus 1 and what is the dimension for time it will be simply time fine now look here if i multiply this time with this time okay this time has a power 1 and this time has a power minus 1 from the law of exponents what happens 1 and minus 1 will become 0 therefore the only term you are left with l so what is the dimension of ut it will be l t to the power minus 1 where this minus 1 is written here and this power 1 is written here now what is 1 to the power minus 1 it is 0 and anything to the power 0 will be 1 and anything multiplied will be anything multiplied with 1 will be the same number so in this case what is the dimension it is only l fine similarly now let us consider your second term in the second term this half is a constant constant means this one doesn't has any dimension now let's check the dimension of at square so dimension for acceleration is lt to the power minus 2 and the dimension for time is t but look here there is a square sign also so this is your whole dimension now if you simplify this expression then you can write you can write this l will be written simply l this t to the power of minus 2 then again this t so from the law of exponents what you can do since they have the same base you can add the powers so in this case the first power is minus 2 and then you have a plus 2 so it is minus 2 plus 2 okay now again 
what is minus 2 plus 2 it will be 0 so it will be 0 and you know anything to the power 0 will be 1 therefore the dimension of half a t square will be only so the dimension of ut is also l dimension of half a t square is also l and the dimension of the left hand side term s is also l now in this expression all of the terms have the same dimension so therefore this equation is dimensionally correct right so let's take one more example so half mv square equals to mgh first check the dimension of the left hand side part so your left hand side is half mv square this half is a constant it has no dimension now the next term is your mass the mass has a dimension capital m the next term is your velocity square velocity dimension is lt to the power minus 1 and since there is a square so you have to write a square here so if i open the bracket this m will remain same but what about this part let us square this term it will be l square t to the power minus 2 fine now let's write this term in one square bracket then you have ml square t to the power minus 2 this is the dimension for half mv square now similarly we'll find the dimension for the right hand side part so the right hand side term is mgh here m is for the mass so the dimension of mass is capital m g is your acceleration due to gravity this is acceleration and the dimension for acceleration is l t to the power minus 2 and then you have h h is for the height height has a dimension capital l right so next if you simplify this term write this inside a square bracket starting with the mass there is only one mass so i write m first then there is a l and here is a l they get multiplied you have l square then you have time t t is t to the power minus 2 so you write down t to the power minus 2 so the dimension for mgh is also ml square t to the power minus 2 and now can you see the dimension of the left hand side is equal to dimension of right hand side so hence the given equation will be dimensionally correct right now the next expression is this one okay this t denotes your time l denotes your length g denotes the acceleration due to gravity so starting with the left hand side part okay this t denotes your total time period okay this is total time so this is your time okay so what is the dimension for time this is simply capital t right now for your right hand side part this 2 pi is a constant fine right? so we have to check the dimension for only this part it is root over l upon g fine right? now since there is a root so what you do first is first you write down the square bracket and this square root means to the power half so write down power half first okay now next what is the dimension for l l is capital l this is your length similarly what is g g is your acceleration so its dimension is l t to the power minus 2 fine now from here you can cancel this l so what you are left with so after cancelling your l you will be only left with the denominator t to the power minus 2 fine and outside you have a half to the power half fine now next what you can do is you can send this t to the power minus 2 to the numerator if i send this to the numerator it will become t square and outside the square bracket i have half okay now if i need to open this square bracket i have to write t two times to the power half this term will get multiplied and what is two times half it will be t to the power one so the dimension will be simply t so the dimension of the left hand side is also t dimension of the right hand side is also t so therefore the dimension of the left hand side is equal to the dimension of right hand side hence the given equation is dimensionally correct fine fine so this is your final question okay this question you can take as your homework 
you have to check whether this equation is dimensionally correct or not this e represents your energy and energy's dimension is ml square t to the power minus 2 similarly here this m represents mass mass dimension is capital m this c denotes the speed of light and its dimension is lt to the power minus 1 fine but you have to take the consideration of this square also okay so check whether the dimension of this left hand side is equal to dimension of right hand side or not if it if they are equal then the this equation will be dimensionally correct if they are not equal then the equation will not be dimensionally correct okay so you can do this question as your homework fine so that's it for today's class thank you and if you have any confusion please don't hesitate to ask i will re-explain it to you again so again thank you